Hi guys, in this video we're going to learn about um, how you can create a unique and a key combination to apply the primary key as you are familiar with from the databases. Now what we did with the key is similar to indexing a field if you're coming from the database world. Um, and what we're going to be doing with the unique and the key combination, we're going to give us the similar kind of an effect that the primary key has, which is an index field, which also allows for non-duplicate values on the fields which are keyed. So, here, we need to be able to call upon a function unique, and that must be on the very first line. Since in this editor, you can't add a line above the very first line, so if I place my insertion point above the R and press enter, it always inserts a line below. Generally speaking, when we do the development in the industry, of course, every specification is laid out, and you won't be making the changes as we are making over here in this example, because it's more or less like a learning example. So, what we're going to be doing is we have inserted a line between the first line and the second line, so we have a new line. On this new line, I'm going to bring my prompt, and I will going to do exactly the same thing as I have on the, my first line so that I preserve my first line that way. And then after I do that, I will going to then uh, delete the contents of first line and replace them with what I want to replace them with. So here, if you notice, my first two lines are exactly the same. So now I go to my first line here. And, and you have to make sure that whenever you do anything in the prompt, you have to press enter or hit the apply button, otherwise you won't, won't see the changes. So now I'm back on my very first line. In the very first line, I'm going to uh, get rid of this R and replace it with nothing. And I'm going to get rid of the rec rugs. And under the functions, I'm going to type the word unique and press enter. The moment I do that, you can see that the word unique appears on the line and the rest of the line disappears. Now I'm going to save my changes here, save changes, make sure that your insertion point is uh, within this editor, if you are using a keyboard shortcut to save changes, and then we can compile this for change physical file. When we do that, first of all it comes back and tells me that there are no errors, and then I can check the commands log and it tells me that, well, the following item has now been changed. So I'm going to switch over to the navigator, and in the navigator, uh, let me refresh just in case. And now I'm going to right click and we're going to go to edit contents. This time we're going to try to add the same rug ID multiple times. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. Then uh, I go under file save. It says you need to journal. Uh, I say I don't, I'm not interested. Same deal that we have had every time. Now I'm going to try the rug ID again. The same rug ID as before. Okay. So now when I press, try to press enter here to save the changes, here I get an error message which says duplicate key values are not allowed. So this was not happening before. So this is something that you can only accomplish with the help of a key and a unique combination. So I click OK, it says, uh, would you like to remove? Uh, I say, yeah, I want to remove. If I said no, I, I have a chance of going back and making the changes. And again, I'm going to just delete this data as well. So I just wanted to show you in this example as to how you can go about doing a unique and a key combination to avoid non-duplicates. Well, I'll catch you in the next tutorial. We're all going to learn about how you can create referenced physical files. Till then, have a great day, guys.